What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Listen guys, today we are going to be talking about an adventure rank checklist. Give you guys all the stuff that you guys should be focused on depending on where you're at in the game. Uh, I get a lot of questions as to what should I be doing at this? How do I level up here? How do I do this? Should I farm at 40? Should I farm at 45? And I want to touch on each of the, uh, you know, big major adventure ranks to kind of talk about each of the transitions that you guys are really going to run into and what you guys can do to prepare for those so you guys can be ready to transition very easily, especially as they continue to add more content to the game. So our guest host today is going to be Catherine. She's going to be kind of the star of the show today because she's going to be showing us the adventure ranks and we're just going to go over this as quick as possible. I'm going to zoom right on through here all the way to level 7 for my re-rollers and people who have been starting multiple accounts until you get the character that you want. This is pretty much the starting point of the game. After you guys get hit AR7, you guys are going to get right to AR8 as soon as you possibly can because why? Because this is the point that you guys are going to start to do ley lines. Now I recommend only doing ley lines to burn your energy out pre-level 20, okay, so Adventure Rank 20, excuse me. So before Adventure Rank 20, doing the Ley Lines is just a great way to bang your XP out unless you guys are, you know, skilled enough or you guys have figured out how to kill bosses, at which case you guys can start killing these elites uh, very early on. If you guys have figured out the strategy, by far the easiest one to fight is of course the Electro Hypostasis. So if you guys are building Electro Heroes or if you guys are building any kind of Electro Fire combo, like that's a really, really good place to start. But if you guys are unable to kill the bosses, then please just stick to the ley lines because they're just really easy. Because what's going to happen is once you guys get to Adventure Rank 8, your resin is going to be capped. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with your resin, it's just this resource up here. And you want to just make sure that this is pretty much at zero. Uh, or at least you're in a point where you're generating resin, you know, passively over time, right? So that way it's just not capped and you're just losing XP. The next point, of course, is AR10. At 10, you guys will get more quests, which will speed it up. Um, at, you should, you guys should be exploring. Maybe you've gotten your first few Oculus from Mondstadt, you know, upgraded your statue by now. You'll get a free four star one hand sword here as well. In which case, I recommend knocking out early open world quests like the one in Dada Upa Gorge where you unlock the three barriers and or grabbing the artifact from the lady at the church just because this will jumpstart your progress. As you guys are doing these quests, knocking out your ley lines, burning your energy, you guys should take you to around AR 12. Once you guys get to AR-12, uh, this is where daily quests are going to lock, and you guys are going to want to make sure you do these ASAP. Daily quests are probably the most profitable thing in the game, so you want to make sure you knock these out. Fast forward to AR-15, this is your first ascension, which if you guys have chosen to level up any characters like Razor or something like that, and you've gotten them to level 20, you can hit the ascend button. As long as you have the materials, you can upgrade your weapon and increase the power level all the way to level 40. Same thing will apply for your weapons. So if you guys are using any four star weapons, three star weapons, if that's what you guys have decided on, this is where your first refinement is going to happen. From 15 to 18, it's generally just exploring, doing more story quests, experiencing the world, trying to figure out what you like, gearing up your characters, collecting artifacts, so on and so forth, as you get ready for your first world rank up, which is going to be at Adventure Rank 20. By now, you should have already cleared Storm Terror, killed the dragon, upgraded your statues, and you should be really focusing and honing in on your adventurer's handbook. This, By now, you should have figured out how to kill the initial bosses, typically the plants and or the cubes, uh, just because you're going to need a lot of those materials as you continue to level up through the game. A lot of this is pretty much free space all the way up to 25, so please continue to do all of your quests and, and explore the world and find all the, you know, not all the chests, but most of some of the chests maybe, and continue to do things that's going to help you level. Uh, there's a lot of quests available really at this point, but all of this stuff is in preparation for 25. At 25, a lot of stuff really starts to change. You'll get another world rank. You'll be able to send your characters again, and now it's time to really start looking at the domain of mastery, so you'll really start to look at the talents for your characters so on top of getting the materials and stuff I like to typically prepare for one world level above or one ascension rank above so if I'm level 20 I'm preparing for 25 if I'm 25 I'm preparing for 30 so on and so forth so as soon as I hit 30 or 35 or 50 I have all the materials that I need ready to go and I can just activate and go so when you guys are at 25 you guys are really gonna start looking at your characters talents please do not miss out on this simple thing 
of just collecting these books to upgrade your talents because you'll only be able to level up your talents I think to level 2 at this point which shouldn't take you that long and of course you should have a ton of talent books anyway from opening up a bunch of chests throughout the world. Uh, this will give you a pretty significant power increase or a teeny tiny one in the beginning but will start to get more significant over time. So again continue to ascend your characters and of course level up your talents. Now 25 to 30 is kind of rough. You guys still have quests, 29 is the last story quest, but you guys should be well into getting 4 star equipment just from doing a lot of the world quests, secret quests hidden all over, and just basically kind of grinding at this point. Uh, this is the point where it's going to start to slow down a little bit and things are going to feel like a little bit out of place, kind of, um, but you can still kind of roll through this because to give you an idea, there's literally, I don't know, 30,000 plus experience worth of chests in the world alone that you guys can open if you open pretty much all the chests And did nothing else it would get you up to like I think level 22 We were talking about this on stream um, But there's a ton of XP out there to grab so if you guys are struggling to get to 30 um, Just open chests, do the quest things like that and then once you guys get here This is where you guys will start to get four star gear now in in terms of fragile resin I can't say that I would start to use my fragile resin here just yet. If you want to use them right away just because you guys are trying to level to 35 or 40 or whatever super fast, go ahead. But if you guys are thinking about gear efficiency and trying to get as much 4 star gear as you can, I would hold till AR35 which we'll talk about here in a bit. But at AR30, this is the point that it's really really important I think in my opinion to focus on cube bosses and plant bosses. This is going to allow you to get your fragments, your elemental fragments and stuff like that from farming those bosses and really start to prep you because 30 you start to have a small chance to get four star gear like gladiator equipment wondrous troops stuff like that um, of course on top of doing your Devalin and your wolf and all that stuff but here is where you guys really want to lock that in 30 to 35 is kind of boring but from 30 but at 32 and 34 you guys have story quests which should make 32 and 34 relatively painless and it should be a lot easier to get to 35 once you guys get to 35, you will start getting 4 star gear pretty consistently from any of the cubes or plant bosses. I still recommend kind of sticking with the cubes and plant bosses if you guys are going to start to use your fragile resin. This is not a bad place to start just because you can deck out your characters pretty quickly uh, with decent 4 star gear. Now again at this point, I still only recommend you know building 1 to 3 characters unless you guys are trying to diversify for abyss but I don't really necessarily recommend uh, trying to build too many heroes at this point because you guys will start to move into 5 star gear here pretty soon. Again at 35 you get another world rank up so another ascension opportunity which you guys definitely want to take so continue to ascend your characters do whatever summons you guys need to do with the free summons of course and then continue to go from there. 35 to 39 is a total grind fest. All right. Um, it's rough because currently there's not any quests here other than 36, but they'll be adding Monus quests here in a couple of days. Uh, if you guys are watching this video in 2025, obviously Monus quest is here at 38. But once they implement the 38 quest, the 36 with Venti, and then the 38 with Mona, uh, this should be a lot smoother getting to 39 to 40. Um, but again, here you guys are just focused on your economy, continuing to streamline things, get all the, the econ, gathering materials, getting everything ready for your future ascension that's going to be happening at level 40. Once you get into 40, guys, this is where the game changes pretty significantly. And the reason why I've been telling you guys to do cubes and plants basically for 10 whole levels is because it's going to put you in a position where once you've arrived at Adventure Rank 40, now you can switch to domains. At Adventure Rank 40 is where you're going to realize that you're out of everything. You're out of gold, you're out of materials, you're out of artifacts to plus your gear. You're literally out of everything. And once you get to level 40, this is kind of a real taste of what the game is going to be like. And this is where I really recommend kind of setting a schedule. So this is where you, okay, I need what? What are the materials that I need for my next ascension rank? And your next ascension rank for your heroes is until 50. So you guys have quite a bit of time to really play around and do what you need to do. So what I recommend doing at 40 instead of just going to get ascension mats and stuff like that to prepare, I, re I recommend focusing on talent books initially so you can max out the characters because you're going to be limited to how many materials you can get per week because your talents at this point take boss mats that you can only get from Dvalin, 
the storm, you know, the dragon, and then of course the wolf. So since you're limited here, you just want to focus on getting those, you know, getting the basic maths and the books here that you need for your primary team. Obviously, uh, you guys should have been doing abyss by now. If you guys haven't been doing abyss, please go do abyss because you guys should get plenty of gear doing that. You guys should have already collected all of your animoculus and your G Oculus at this point already. And then here is where you're going to start farming domains. Now, what I mean by domains are these little guys right here that give you gear. These are where you're going to start doing research as to what types of gear you want in your characters. And you're going to start farming these. You're not really farming these at 40 uh, to get the best gear in the game because it's a small chance that you guys are going to get five star gear here. But the possibility does exist. What you are farming these for is to get a crap ton of three and four star gear that is either going to upgrade your gear and or just sit there so you can feed it to five star gear if you happen to get a good piece, which is going to make your upgrading uh, of your gear a lot easier because that way you could just replace a piece instead of getting rid of it. And what that allows you to do is it gives you leverage. So let's say I took a five star piece because I got lucky and I put it on my Beto. Beto already had a piece that was plus 16. Now I could take that plus 16 piece and put it on another character that I might need for Abyss that's not built yet or doesn't have any gear and it makes it to where that way I'm just not wasting resources. And this is the importance of starting to farm domains at 40. And if you guys have done what I've, I've been telling you guys to do for, you know, from 20 to 40 or well, 20 to 39, you guys should have plenty of ascension materials, you know, to go around for whatever characters it was that you were trying to build. And then you just start to focus on domains from 40 to 45. Once you guys get to 45, you will continue uh, to farm domains. Uh, this is the point though, a junction point for you guys, that this is where you're gonna start really looking at, okay, do I need to get ascension materials? Are there any plants? Are there any flowers? Is there any ore? So on and so forth that I'm going to need along the way as we get closer and closer to 50. Because once you get to 50, you're going to ascend again, this time the last ascension getting your characters to 90, um, and it's gonna be really expensive. So at 45, uh, you're gonna continue to farm domains, and as you get closer and closer to 50, around the 48 mark, 49 mark, is where you're gonna really start prepping to get ready for, you know, again, level 50 ascension. So that's pretty much it. I mean, in a nutshell, um, again, at 45, you I've seen, I've done runs on stream where we've gotten two five-star artifacts in one run in a domain. So it's actually really, really good for domain farming here. Plus you get a ton of loot. Uh, you get some gold, okay, by the way. Uh, but a lot of like getting through and, and navigating these adventure ranks is just really managing your resources well. So going through this, you know, when you guys get stuck, it's just really a matter of opening chests up until 40, opening chests doing quests until 40. Once you guys get to 40, it's literally about domain farming and dailies. And then once you guys get to 45, it's just about maximizing and getting the perfect gear for your team. And then as you get closer to 50, it's going to be about going back to phase one and then getting the ascension mats and all the stuff that you'll need to get your characters to 90. And then once you have your characters to 90, the rest is history and it's up to you how many characters you want to build. So in today's video, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a short kind of checklist that you guys can kind of follow uh, based on where you're at. And so if you're like, OK, bam, OK, I'm 35. I'm struggling. What do I need to do? All right. He says go up and chest, do quests, just do my stuff, my dailies, my refreshes, and then I'm good. Right. And then when I'm 40, oh, go to domains, uh, replenish my stuff, replenish my stock, make a schedule. Am I doing domains today? Do I need to farm ley lines? Do I need to farm character XP? Like those are the things that you need to think about at 40 all the way to 45. 45 same thing more focus on domains and of course getting your econ squared away and then as you get really close to 50 typically around 48 49 you're going to start farming ascension materials again so with that being said guys that's all i wanted to cover if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to assist and we will see you guys in the next video peace